Welcome to How to Use Alice. Alice is a 3D programming environment which allows you to create 3D movies, games, and animations. To start off, let's go to Alice.org. Now, we need to download Alice. So, we'll scroll down to the download section and click on Alice 2.0. Depending on the system you're using, you can choose Mac, Linux, or Windows. Once you have Alice downloaded and all set up, open it. First, if you would like, you could run through some tutorials they have for you. Or, you could browse through some examples like the Lake Skater or Flight Simulator, and once you're done with those or don't want to use them, you can create a new world from scratch. Let's begin with the basics. Let's choose grass. This is the main page we'll be working on, but for now we'll go with the events. They are one of the most important things. So the first event is when we'll start do world.myfirstmethod. A method is an operation which tells a character or object to do something. It's pretty much programming the character or object. For example, camera move here operates the camera to move to another position. Now that we covered what a method is, let's get back to the events. We will go further in depth on methods at a later point. The next event is when keep pressed, do, and any method that you created. So, you go under events and choose it and it, they give you a broad selection of keys to press but you can also just press the key on the keyboard if you couldn't find it. When you begin your game or movie and press the button you selected and in this case it, I selected the space button and when it is pressed it will do whatever you programmed the method to do. The next event is when mouse is clicked on something do this is pretty simple since you just choose what the object that can be clicked on is. The objects can be anything, but for now, just choose ground. So when you click on the ground after your movie or game starts, it will do whatever you program the method you chose to do. Okay, the next one is a bit complicated. It is when something is true. So it says when true is true or when false is true so when something is true or when something is false you can begin a method during any method or end a method you can leave them blank in any slot if you do not want to fill it out the next event is when something changes do so this is quite simple so when any of those world dot key chart in case changes do a method of your creation so when this occurs this reaction will occur doing your method the next event is let mouse move any object that you've created. So you first need to create a list and name the list and it can be numerical, boolean, or object or any other. For now we'll not be creating a list but I'll explain it to you. The mouse will move any object that you've created and you put on the list. Our next event is quite straightforward. It is let arrow keys move the subject and in this case the subject is an object so it says you can use your arrow keys to move any of the objects that are on the list they can be camera light or ground but for now we'll just keep it a camera the next event is let mouse move camera 
It's quite similar to the previous event, except it's more definitive. You have to use the mouse, and you can only move the camera. And as I said before, it's quite self-explanatory, and uh, you can just use your mouse to move the camera, and you can test this out yourself when uh, you click the play button. It is often used in games to look around. Our last event is Let Mouse Orient Camera. It is very similar to our previous event, which was Let Mouse Move Camera. There's a slight difference between those two. The only difference is that Let Mouse Orient Camera allows you to change the position or angle to get a better view, but Let Mouse Move Camera lets you look around and about what's around you. Let me show you an example of programming something. So click on Add Objects and you will come to this page. So there are many folders where you can find objects, but for now, let's just create a car. Go to the Vehicles folder and we will use the Class Convertible. So now you just add it to your world. And once you have it added, you can just click the Done button, which is on your right. And once you exit it, you'll go back to your main page. So drag, go to the, your left side and drag the uh, Convertible Move button to your world.myfirstmethod and let it move forward one meter and this should appear. So now we'll have to delete the let arrow keys move camera because that will just contradict with what we'll be programming. So once you have it deleted, wait for it to delete and then scroll back to the when space button is pressed, do your world.myfirstmethod. So that is what we'll be using to program it. Now when you click play and start pressing the space button, it'll start moving. So now that we have that covered, let me go over some things. So you can find your methods on the left hand side and you can add objects near your view screen. You can also change your viewpoint. You can go rotating up and down or moving side to side or forward and back or you can go higher and lower or side to side in this certain direction. You can go to add objects and you can use the local gallery or you can use the web gallery but it might slow your internet connection. Also, you can create a variable, name it whatever you want, it can be any of these, or you can create a parameter, name it whatever you want, and it can be any of those types. You can also create a new method, and name it whatever you want, and a fresh new method will be created, and you can choose whatever you want to put in them, and create as many methods as you need. Now that you know how to use Alice, remember what you learned, and Remember where to add objects, how to create variables, parameters, and methods, and what methods do, and what are the events. Good luck on your next project, and you've been watching How to Use Alice.